Hi, I live in a part of Bristol where they are undertaking surge testing to check for the incidence of the mutated English version of COVID-19. So in a few minutes I am going out into the cold to go to my local library to pick up a collect and drop test. Let's see how that goes. It is so cold out here. Minus one, but it feels worse. Anyway, let's see what happens soon. Coach from the library now. Hi, I'd like to pick up a test. Okay, thanks. Hi. How many? Just one. That's all right. I only care about myself. Well, there we are. Don't worry about it. Right, okay, so there's your leaflet. Inside, you've got some information, all right? Uh-huh. Okay. And then the day that you do your test, they need to get you to come back. So, if you can't do it today, I will do it today, definitely. Okay, when you come back, pop it into that box there. Because inside, it does say you can post it to what you can. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. um, and don't forget to register online sure. so that they can get back to you with the results. Okay. And there's no, nobody, well, you, you haven't got any symptoms. Huh? You haven't got any symptoms. Of COVID. Is this, huh? Symptoms. I don't you have what? You haven't got any symptoms. Symptoms? No, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Oh. There we are. That's that one there. Again, you haven't had a vaccine within the last eight days? No. Yeah. Okay, I'm good to go. Thank you very much. All right. Appreciate okay, it. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Okay, here is my test. Now I've got to take it home and give it a whirl. Back home, warming up. Right, I have some instructions to read. Okay, seems fairly straightforward. Probably be more difficult to open the wrapper. So there must be a better way to open these things than brute force, which is what I use. Seal, swab, vial, plastic bag, thing to stick up my nose probably, uh, another plastic bag, and a step-by-step -step guide. This test is suitable for adults age 18 plus. Well, that's me. I got to register the test kit details online. Take swab sample from the, your tonsils at the back of the throat, then your nose. Taking the test will feel a little uncomfortable and unusual for most people. Make that everybody. 
I need a mirror. Oh my goodness. I need a mirror so I can see the, my tonsils at the back of my throat. And I need to blow my nose and cough into the tissue, into a tissue. This is so excess mucus does not interfere with the test where well, you're not going to see that. That's disgusting. Wash your hands for 20 seconds. I can do that. And then all the rest. Okay, I'm just going to blow my nose and wash my hands. Be right back. First I've got to register online. Check the contents, zip code back, zip lock back, yes. Swap inside a sealed wrapper, yes. Plastic vial, yes. White absorber, fine, yes. Biohazard bag with silver seal. Oh, that's that one. This is the other bag. Security seal, which is here, and a return box, which I've got. Okay, <coughs> look inside the mouth, this is not normally pleasant, and find your tonsils at the back of the throat. If you're performing this on yourself, use a mirror to help. Open the package and gently take out the swap. This will be used for both no tonsils and nose. <laughs> oh, there we go. Do not touch your tongue, teeth, cheeks, gums or any other surface with the fabric tick tip of the swab. If it touches anything else it may invalidate your sample. Taking the sample may cause gagging and minor discomfort, but it should not hurt. Okay, holding the swab in your hand, open the mouth wide and gen <laughs> gently rub the swab over both tonsils uh, at the back of the throat for 10 seconds. Use a torch or mirror to help. Uh, give myself a little bit of extra light. This is going to be disgusting. Let me bring that mirror a little bit nearer. Oh. That was horrible, but not too bad. Put the same end of the same swab gently into the nostril, about 2.5 centimetres, one inch, or until you feel some resistance. You only need to sample one nostril. If you have a piercing, use the other nostril. Rotate the swab for 10 to 15 seconds and slowly remove it. I've chosen a nostril. Oh God. Let's go right. I should be counting. Ah. Uh, how long have I done? Enough. Oh, gosh. This may feel uncomfortable. Too right. Put the swab into the vial. Make sure the fabric tip is facing down as you place it into the vial. Snap off the stick end so that it fits inside the vial without bending. Securely screw the lid onto the vial. That matches the information. 
Now I've got to wash my hands thoroughly for 20 seconds. Again. Be right back. Right. First, place the absorbent pad into the zip lock bag. Like so. Then place the vial next to the absorbent pad in the same bag. Seal the bag. Place the Ziploc bag into the biohazard bag. Make sure the barcodes match, they do. Seal the bag using its silver seal. What next? Assemble the return box following the instructions on the box. If you can, wipe down the bag and box with an antiseptic wipe. Put the biohazard bag into the box. Blah, blah, blah. Apply the security seal as directed. Take a picture or note of the barcode on the Royal Mail return. No, there's no Royal Mail return label. You are now ready to post your test kit. That means send it back. Right, I'm going to assemble a box. Don't need to record that. And I'll get back to you. Stay tuned. Assembling this box was the most difficult thing of the process. Right, and now I have to swab down the bag. To wipe it with an antiseptic wipe is how it describes itself and the box inside outside I don't know outside as well place the bag into the box and close the box yay Apply the security seal as directed. Oh, here, I guess. And there we have the seal. Take a picture or note of the barcode on your Royal Mail return label, which there isn't one because it's not Royal Mail, but anyway, there's the barcode again. And now I'm ready to take it back. Right, I am on my way back to the library to deliver this. They're the instructions for assembling the box. And they're on the, the base of the box, which is the first part that you assemble. So it makes it really tricky. Anyway, off we go, towards the library. Hey, I'm approaching the library now. There's a queue outside. Oh my goodness. There are four people ahead of me. Yeah, that's right, yeah.
Pardon? They keep for a testing kit? Yes. Oh, right. I'm returning mine. Oh. Well, thanks a lot. Okay, so that's it. I have to wait maybe a day, maybe three days for the result. I have done my duty.